We have some breaking news now on Capitol Hill. That is Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, who has officially filed a motion to vacate the speaker. There's a one member motion to vacate that would seek to oust current House Speaker Mike Johnson. Let's listen in as she explains her rationale. Long. Do not break the 72 hour rule. He heard from all of us. He heard from all of us all week long. Allow us to introduce amendments. Allow us to do our jobs. Allow us to represent the districts that voted for us and sent us here. We want a secure border. And the, and the Senate proposal of legalizing 5,000 people coming across the border every day is not securing the border. And this is giving up every point of leverage we have. Also, forcing Republicans to vote on full-term abortion funding in order to fund our military is a complete betrayal of all of our values. And our voters don't want us to be doing that. What does the process of finding this speaker look like? When do, when, do you, when do you plan to call this resolution to the floor? Again, I don't have a timeline. Um, that will be a rolling issue that we'll be judging um, and making decisions by. But I assure you, it's, I'm not the only one. I have support on this from others in my conference. And, and it's not, I'm not introducing this to throw the House into chaos. Committees will continue doing their work. Investigations will continue. Um, I support my conference. Again, I have paid all of my dues to the NRCC and then some. I support Republicans holding the majority next conference, but we need a Speaker of the House that knows how to negotiate, knows how to walk in the room, knows how to hold the line, and knows how to defend America first and the values and the policies that President Trump will bring. What about the process to find a new Speaker? What does that process look like without the motion to vacate? That process allows everyone to have discussions and internal meetings and, and conversations. So, and it allows other people to step forward and say they're willing to run for so speaker. So we saw that in the fall. Should Johnson what? step down from speaker? In mind that you would like to see as not, at, not at this time. This I want to have conversations and I want to hear from others have, how they would have handled this. Have you talked to, have have you talked to Trump? Have you talked to Trump about this? I have not talked to President Trump about you this. You said there's more support from Republicans. Speaker. How many Republicans? You would need. I won't give you a number, but I've talked to many um, who probably won't go public, but silently they're, they're breathing a sigh of relief. Everyone is you can look at the numbers and the votes of this. This bill was passed without a majority of Republicans. This is a Democrat budget, and it was passed by Mike Johnson. Should Johnson no, step down? Should, should Johnson floor? step down? That'd be a choice that he would have to make, but we're going to have to find a new speaker. What what the president 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 we saw what happened in the fall. Ukraine, we saw one. We saw one. We saw one. You know, speaker candidate after another falls short of getting the votes necessary. Even narrower now. You can't. I mean, how could you possibly even find someone to succeed Mike Johnson who could get the votes, keep this conference together, and not plunge this chamber? To chaos. We're going to have to do it because the country is in crisis. We have a border invasion that's happening every single day. We have uh, Americans under the age of 30, for the first time at showing in all types of polling, have lost hope for their future. The, the younger generations can't afford to buy a home. Inflation is running rampant. Our country is in crisis and we need real leaders that know how to fight, that know how to walk in a room and don't get rolled by the deep state and don't get rolled by the Democrats and don't get rolled into doing whatever it takes to maintain that power and position. Ma'am, we need a Speaker of the House that actually represents the people. This is the people's house. This is not Washington, D.C.'s house. If, this is the people's house. If he brings up Ukraine, if he brings up Ukraine. You're calling this a pink slip, a warning sign, the bottom line. You want Speaker Johnson out. I, well, I wouldn't have filed a motion to vacate if right, I didn't. Right, we need a new speaker. This is not personal against Mike Johnson. He's a very good man, and I, I have respect for him as a person, but he is not doing the job. The proof is in the vote count today. He passed a budget that should have never been brought to the floor, did not represent our conference, and it was passed with the Democrats and without so the majority of the majority. What, happen, what happens if he moves on Ukraine? What happens if he moves on any aid to Ukraine? That would also go against what the American people want. Polling shows that it's approximately 70 percent of the American people do not support continuing a, a, a war in Ukraine. But would that, they would that, trigger, would that be a triggering event for you? For you the to, motion to vacate's already been he should not straw. bring funding for Ukraine. Won't Just to you clarify, thank you. Sorry, in the back. Thank yeah. you. You are saying you will call for this vote, or you're saying you're still cons I know you said no time. I'm saying, saying that we've started happen. the clock to start the process to elect a new speaker. Have and and I'm, I'm giving my conference time. 
I'm being respectful to my conference, but many members in my conference agree. Even though it's uncomfortable, it's a process none of us want to go through, so, it has to happen. So this is kind of a way to avoid you be teaming with Democrats as well by ousting the Speaker of the House, just like Speaker Johnson did in teaming with Democrats to pass the government funding bill. Uh, we have to find a new Speaker of the House. I'm not sure how that vote count would be, and I'm, I'm, I've heard a lot of Democrats may support him, so I'm not sure how that if works out. If they do that, don't you worry that you're basically pushing him or, or any new Speaker into the arms of Democrats? Because, like, at a certain He's point already that, in the arms of Democrats, and the, it's, it's proof in the vote count today. This was a Democrat bill. This was not a Republican bill. We weren't allowed to introduce amendments. We weren't allowed to have a say. We weren't even given the, the respect of the 72-hour rule to read 1,012 pages. So you think it, was, it would be better to shut the government down then? I mean, you were up against the clock. Would it have been better to it shut the It would have been down? better uh, to, back in October when he became Speaker to have actually worked on appropriation bills, stayed with. Uh, single appropriation bills and done what all of us had set out to do. Could you guys bring so McCarthy do back? Could you guys, bring McCarthy back? Do you down. think there would be the votes for that? I mean, technically, he doesn't have to be a member. I mean, sir, is that, I know you support him, so I'm just wondering. Do you really think that there's someone who can get 218 votes to become Speaker of the House? Uh, I certainly hope so. I mean, it was so hard. So. To go the last you were listening there to.